Hello everybody. In this video we are going to create our tool paths for OP2 on our crank. To be able to do this what we need to do is we actually need to take the crank that we machined out in our last video and we will be putting this into our soft jaws. Uh, for this we will be zeroing off of our soft jaws so we will need to create an assembly of the two files uh, to be able to um, create our tool paths. So I'm going to open up our show, uh, data panel, show data panel, and I'm going to open up our crank soft jaw that we created. What I want to do then is I want to right click on our crank and I'm going to insert this into our current design. And for this, remember whenever we do this, we always want to break that link because just in case something happens in this one, um, I don't want to accidentally uh, edit our original. So after we have that in there, um, I do see that we're going to have to rotate this around a little bit. So that just to make it easy to start out with, I'm going to rotate this to 180 degrees. I'll press OK. Right click on our crank and go down to break link. So now this is a fresh copy of what we uh, started out with. So in here, um, our model orientation in our uh, mill is going to be like this. That's going to be our origin at our top left center, or sorry, top top left uh, corner of that. And I want to put my part into our soft jaws. So to be able to do that, I'm going to create a joint, and I'm going to select the bottom face right here. And you want to make sure that when we do this that we have our cursor kind of over this flat spot because if you look how my axis is running, right? Um, there I'm flat, normal to uh, the jaws that I want. If I move it over a little bit, it actually runs along this axis and we don't want that. We don't want that. We want to make sure that it is flat and normal that way. So after we do that, we're going to come over here and because we selected that bottom edge, we are going to select this bottom edge of that surface right there. And now it is put into our soft jaws how it should be. So we'll press OK. So what we need to do now is we need to make our setup for this. And we'll change from our design to our manufacturer. I'm going to create a new setup. And for this, the model that we are going to be using is going to be our crank. And the stock that we are going to be using, we are going to do a fixed size box. The width of this is going to be an inch and a half. The depth of this is going to be one. And the height for this is going to be 0.49. And what we will do is the model position is we want to offset from our top, come on, zero inches because we want to make sure that this is exactly what we have from before, right? So when we brought this in, uh, oh, sorry, uh, not offset of zero, offset of 0.25. So when we brought this in from before, um, our part still had a chunk of aluminum on there. And what we want to do is we want to uh, face this off. We want to uh, tap and thread that hole. So we want to have our stock set up like that. The next thing that we want to do is we want to uh, go back to our setup and our origin. We want to do a selected point and we are going to go off of our top left corner right there. Now we are almost done with this because we still need to uh, reorient our X and Y axes. Our Z is in the right uh, direction, um, but uh, we want to change the orientation. So I'm going to select my, uh, my Z and my X axes right there. Uh, for my X, I'm going to flip that and now we have that in the right orientation. 
So what's different about this is now we are zeroing off of our soft jaws and we want to do this side because this is uh, fastened to our hard jaws. It's not going to be moving at all. We have our stock so that it is actually above our part a little bit. It's referencing the stock that we still have left and it's also including the little bit that we have uh, for our um, the cam on the bottom here. So when we're done with that, we'll press OK. And it says that the uh, Z height is less than the height of the selected model. Do we want to ignore that warning? Yes, for this one we do want to ignore that warning because this is our second operation. Um, it thinks that this is going to be our first operation and that uh, we still need to have all this material for our uh, model, but we don't need that. So what I'll do is I'll hit yes and we can start uh, facing this off. So we'll go to our facing tool path and for this one uh, we are going to select from our RFHS tool library our inch and a half face mill. Press select. Again use our standard uh, speeds and feeds. Uh, spindle speed of 4000, cutting feed rate of 20. We'll go to our geometry and that looks good. For our heights, because we do have a large chunk of aluminum here yet, we are going to leave um, all of these the same. For our top height, we want to make sure that we are at our uh, stock top. And for our bottom height, uh, we actually want to make sure that we hit selection. And what we'll do is we will select that face right there. For our passes, uh, that looks uh, we want to start from the left hand side, so I'm going to do a, a pass direction of 180. Um, that all looks good. My multiple depths, my maximum step down, remember we want to go 30 thou for that. So that looks good. And then we'll press OK. And now we are faced down to our surface. Now this is going to be a little deceiving because in our cam, it is showing that we still have material right here, but we actually don't in our, in our uh, actual part. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put in a uh, contour because I want to um, put a chamfer going around the edge of that. So we'll select our 2D contour and I'm going to use tool number 23, which is that quarter inch chamfer bit. So we go to that RFHS tool library, come down to our quarter inch chamfer, hit select. Again, uh, spindle speed of 4000, cutting feed rates, that's all good. Our geometry, when we have it modeled, we want to select the top surface right there. Our heights, now um, We are good for that. We'll just go model top for everything. And we have model top for both our top height and our bottom height with an offset of zero. For our passes, our finished feed rate, we want to make sure that we are at 15 inches a minute. Our chamfer, uh, because we have, if we remember, because we have our chamfer modeled, uh, we don't want to have a chamfer width, that's already in there. But our chamfer tip, chamfer tip offset, we want to have of 0 0.05, because we want to have a 50 thou uh, tip offset so that we can preserve uh, the tip of that chamfer bit. And that all looks good. We'll press OK. And there we have our chamfer. Now, this, the computer still thinks that we have material there, but we don't. Um, so that will be good to go for that one. The next up, what we want to do is we want to drill this hole. So we're going to be doing uh, two operations to this. We are going to uh, drill this and then we are going to tap it. So for this, I'm going to go to my drilling tool path. And the tool that I'm going to select is we are going to be tapping according to the print at 1032. Uh, so the drill bit for that is going to be a number 16 drill bit. So we'll select that. And those are good for our spindle uh, speeds and feeds. The geometry, we are going to select that. 
and the uh, depth is uh, 187 thou. Um, what we'll do is we'll go, that's how much thread we need. We need a little bit more than that. So I'm going to go to model top for everything. And my offset, I'm going to do uh, negative 0.25 for that. And what that'll do for us is that will, um, or sorry, not negative 0.25, we're just going to go negative 0.22. And what that's going to do for us is that's going to drill into here so that we have enough threads for our uh, screw. Um, but what we're not going to do is we're not going to go so far that it's going to come out the backside. So then uh, our drilling is going to be uh, chip breaking, partial retract. So we'll press OK for that. And then finally, the last thing that we want to do is we want to put our threads in there. So I'm going to do another drilling uh, tool path. For this one, we are going to select our RFHS tool library, go down to tool 21, which is our 1032 tap, and select. Our spindle speed, we are going to bump up to 525. The geometry, we're going to select our hole. For our height, uh, we're just going to go model top for everything. And for our offset, according to the print, we want uh, threads for 187,000. So I'm going to go down negative 0.187 for that. We'll go to our cycle, and that is going to be right tapping, and we will press OK for that. So once we are done, what we'll be able to do is save this, and we will post-process this, and we will bring it over to our mill, and we will finish our second operation.